Hey folks, it's been a while since I've uh, done one of these JM Tries videos, but uh, now I'm back again and I am hoping to get this, uh, you know, done in a more regular, um, you know, fashion again. I do have a few things, uh, you know, on my list. Um, now, this one and the next one are probably going to be the more believable of the two. Um, and then the ones after that, the next couple after that, are ones that you're just going to hopefully be able to take my word for. Um, but those are more, uh, probably going to be as much to display, uh, you know, other cool items in my collection. Uh, you know, some of, some of which my, uh, you know, big fat mug are, uh, you know, blocking right now. Um, but I will say those are big fat mugs too. Um, but if you're, uh, you know, fat, if you've been a fan of this series for a while, uh, you know, I've, um, got something of a taste for, uh, you know, ginger flavored beverages. Um, part, part of that's because, uh, I've had, um, stomach issues for, uh, you know, most of my life on and off. And, uh, you know, Ginger, uh, you know, is something that seems to help with that, uh, you know, and nothing else will. And this is a night when I, you know, think I'm going to need something ginger flavored to, uh, you know, settle my uh, stomach. And why not make a video of something interesting I found in the beverage aisle at the grocery store? Uh, you know, a about a month ago, or maybe a little more, I, uh, you know, found something called a, a Bundaberg ginger beer. It's uh, from Australia. Um, you know, like, like you can see there, it says, uh, you know, Australian family owned. Uh, and I'm assuming this is, uh, you know, made in Australia and then imported in these, uh, you know, cool little bottles like this. Um, you know, the, the only other place I can remember seeing anything, uh, you know, quite like this is, uh, you know, the, the, the liquor store attached to the, uh, you know, this particular grocery store chain, uh, you know, at least used to have a pick and mix, um, you know, beer, uh, you know, thing where you could like, pick a six pack of like various uh you know actual beers from around the world and uh that was like a Jamaican beer I think that came in a bottle like this. Uh but this is uh you know uh non alcoholic beverage which um considering that I've gotta be to work tomorrow is probably a good thing. But uh anyway that's uh you know I, I particularly like the uh, ring on this uh, pull top here. So uh, anyway, I, well, yeah, I craft brewed over three days and I, I'm assuming they do it in wooden barrels like that. But uh, anyway, I, uh, you know, suppose I better just, uh, you know, quit hammering here and uh, get on with it. Uh, you know, because it's got this, um, top on there. Gonna set it down so I don't wind up spilling all over my uh, computer, which is something I've done when I've been a little sloshed. Uh, hope you could hear that um, pop there. And I dropped the lid anyway. But um, anyway, uh, let's yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it's, uh, um, you know, got a thicker color to it than a lot of the other stuff I've been trying, but uh, also seems to work a little better because I've, uh, you know, had this particular four pack for a couple weeks now, and this is the only, only the uh, second bottle I've taken out and it's got a decent 
fizz to it. And yeah, it's got a nice ginger taste to it too. Um, you know, not too overpowering of ginger, um, not too sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna read off the uh, ingredients here. Uh, uh, carbonated water, uh, cane sugar is the uh, second ingredient, which um, is a good thing. Uh, then it says ginger root, uh, natural flavors, citric acid, uh, which I'm, I guess is kind of a flavoring thing. Um, not entirely sure what the yeast is for. And it just says preservatives and says uh, potassium uh, sorbate. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to believe these are new glasses. Must be, I must just be that I'm tired. Or at least I'm hoping that's what it is. Uh, and sodium benzoate, uh, benzoate, and then uh, axion, uh, antioxidant. Um, but yeah, it's you know kind of tired. I think here's the problem. Uh, and then the uh, antioxidant that, that they say is a, as they're calling it is a. Ascorbic acid, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, uh, it's, uh, well, it says it's made in, uh, in Australia, and I'm going to believe that, but, uh, I, I, you know, I gotta say, I have, you know, really enjoy this stuff. Um, probably the best, uh, ginger flavored beverage I've, uh, found in a while, so I guess we could, uh, say that this, uh, Bundaberg is, uh, German for Australian for ginger beer. Um, yeah, uh, it's, um, so yeah, it's uh, a little bit on the pricey side, kind of like the um, Belvior Farms version that uh, yeah, I did oh, probably a couple of years back now, but uh, yeah, this is a more convenient size, and I think it's a better product too, so um, yeah, so I'd, uh, I'd recommend this one um, you know and if you can find it that you're in your uh, you know beverage aisle I definitely say go for it especially if you like beverage or uh, ginger flavored stuff and or have you know kind of an iffy stomach like me even though I don't necessarily look like it but uh, anyway I suppose I'd better wrap this up before I uh, you know, wake the neighbors since it's uh, you know, a little later than it needs to be. So um, anyway, I'll uh, hopefully see you with another one of these in the near future. Uh, but until then, have a good night and a good day. Uh, see you when I see you.